Hey there folks, get ready to embark on a thrilling kitchen adventure together. Today I'll be your guide showing you the secrets of creating a jaw-dropping kitchen presentation. From stylish cabinets to a charming dining area, we'll explore every nook and cranny with excitement and joy. So grab your popcorn and get comfy because we're about to dive into a world where culinary dreams come to life. Let's make this journey unforgettable my friends. All right, we want to present this kitchen area with five separate shots and there are a few principles we need to keep in mind and I want to describe them during this video. So let me just change the viewport to the first camera that I've placed for presentation of the kitchen area. And after that, let's open the sequencer that we've added the camera on it and there we have it. All right, this is the first shot that we want to start our presentation with. And also it is how the storytelling starts with the entrance shot which can set the stage for the viewers, giving them an initial glimpse into the kitchen and creating a space for what lies ahead. And also in the first shot, we will ignite the spark of curiosity and drawing the audience into the captivating world of our kitchen presentation. So let's take a look to the specification of the camera that I've used in this shot. And as you can see, as the film back, I have used a 60 by 9 DSLR with the 24 to 70 millimeter of the lens and I've set the aperture on 4 and the focal length on 24 to have partially a wide shot. And let's take a look at the sequencer. And as you can see, I have a sequence with about 150 frames with two keyframes for manual focus distance and two keyframes for the location of the camera. And that was all for the first sequencer. And let's move on to the second shot. And as you can see, it would be a close-up camera. Let me just open the related sequencer. And as you can see for the second shot, I've considered using a different lens to provide a varied perspective and visual interest. Since you already used a wide angle lens into the first shot, you can opt for a medium telephoto such as a 50 or 85 millimeter lens. And the reason to using these lenses is to focus on capturing the intricate details of the kitchen, such as the texture of the countertop or the patterns on the cabinet doors or the beautiful hardware. These shots allows viewers to appreciate the craftsmanship and attention to details. And in order to grab the attention to these details, I've created two keyframes on the manual focus distance and also a smooth movement to the camera. Okay, now that we're done with this one, let's move on and change the viewport to the third camera and also let's change the sequencer to the related camera. All right, in this shot, we have set it a rotating camera around the dining table to showcase the space of the kitchen and its natural lighting. It allows viewers to get a sense of the overall layout and ambience of the kitchen while highlighting the connection to the surrounding environments. And on the other side, we have a smooth camera movement, which creates a sense of fluidity and elegance and enhancing the viewer's experience. And also the position of the camera is in a such a way that it captures the natural light coming through the windows or glass curtain walls. And let me just eject the camera viewport and by pressing the G button, you can see that I've created this rotating movement of the camera by the help of camera rig rail. And if you're curious about adding a camera rig rail to your project, I've got you covered in my previous video tutorial. The card is showing on the right upper corner, so don't miss it. So let's just continue and you can see that by the changing the amount of current position of the rig rail, the camera is starting to rotate around the table. And by this rotating movement, not only the dining table is prominently featured in the shot, but also it emphasized the spatial design of the kitchen and showcasing how different elements such as the cabinets, windows, and the glass curtain wall interact with each other to create a seamless and visually pleasing environment. And as you saw, I have used a 20 millimeter lens with the aperture of 2.8. So let's move on and see the next shot. So let's change the camera and the sequencer. And again, I have used a camera rig rail with a linear movement and the deliberate use of a linear movement in the camera adds a sense of stability and continuity to the shot. It allows the viewer to smoothly navigate through the kitchen and mimicking the experience of walking through the space. 
This linear movement not only enhances the visual storytelling by guiding the audience's attention, but also creates a seamless narrative flow, inviting them to explore and connect with the kitchen's design and ambience. So now that we're done with this, let's go to the final shot that we got in this project. So the camera is just same as the first shot and also the location, but there is a difference. The movement of the camera is vice versa in comparison with the first shot. The reverse movement in the final shot gradually moving away from the kitchen and blurring the screen serves as a powerful storytelling device. It creates a sense of closure leaving the viewer with lingering impression of the kitchen's beauty and design. And this technique adheres to the principles of presentation by building anticipation and leaving a lasting impact. And thank you all for joining me on this captivating journey through the kitchen presentation. I hope these camera techniques have inspired you to bring your designs to life and tell compelling stories. Remember, the possibilities are endless with Unreal Engine. Stay curious, stay creative, and keep exploring. Until next time.